All right, I will go over this in um, the upcoming Zoom meet before December 3rd. Um, however, I did want to make a video so that you can have a chance to reflect. All right, so read through this. The goal is to make some kind of creative art piece. Um, art meaning any form of a project. I will show you some that kids have made in the past. I really like this project. Um, one of my fave because I it gets to allow you to do a project the way you want to do it. You can't do it by yourself because it's meant to be interactive. Um, hopefully you get you gain some creativity and be able to explore yourself what's best for you so if you like to draw people can draw i've had people make books you know so i've had lots of different music videos like lots of different creations from this project it's a little harder with covid um because you can't really interact with others so i'm i'm hoping to see you know even more creativity with this project your goal is to explain the math objectives so you want to be able to explain them at least one from the first unit, transformations or messing with equations somehow with their operations. And when we get into quadratics, you should we're going to learn the parts of the graph, how to solve them. So you only have to do one objective from each, three objectives altogether though. Whatever objectives that you are most comfortable with and you're explaining them somehow in this creative piece. OK, you right now, you're going to be responsible for coming up with who you're going to work with and how you're going to work with them. So are you guys going to do Google Meets? Are you going to do Google Zooms? Are you going to do FaceTime because you have each other's numbers? Are you just going to text? Are you going to create a document like one person can do one half of the book? The other person can do the other half of the book and you bring it together so you don't have to like work side by side. You each can just pick what part you're going to do and then put it together in the end. Um, so that's what I want you to be thinking about, digging through of what you think you want to do. If you don't know anybody in the classes, you can come up with whatever type of project you want to do. And hopefully I can blend that with someone else who's working alone, who is going to do some kind of type of project that might blend well. So at least you'll still be able to do the first part of it and then we'll move forward. So don't not do the first part. You're going to do the first part. Tell me you're working alone. Tell me what you want to do. And then we'll talk further and how I could pair you up with somebody. When you present it to me, it needs to be something I can open. Sometimes people record videos on their phones and then the link doesn't open on my computer, right? So we know that Apple has their unique things. The computer is not Apple that I own, so I have to be able to open it. If I can't open it, you do not get credit for it. It's not a, well, miss, I did it, you couldn't open it. If I can't open it, you don't get credit. So I strongly encourage you to put it on a YouTube link. If you don't want it to be public, you can put subscribe on YouTube and that means only the person with the link can open it. So you want to make sure that you make it so that anyone can view it. YouTube is the best way when you're putting up a video. Um, if you're going to do some kind of interactive like slideshow, it needs to be interactive. It means people need to see it, hear it, be interactive with it. So you can do that as well. In the end, you are going to evaluate the people in your group. This is most important, okay? You're going to evaluate the people in your group, and you're going to evaluate the project itself. Attaches the rubric, and again, I grade based on rubrics. Very, very detailed that way, okay? So make sure you read through the whole thing and be prepared for when we have questions. When we get back from Thanksgiving, I'll introduce it in a Zoom.